Hi, I just watched a video by Ellie Hall. The title of the video is Depression. If you're depressed, then you're a pussy. Uh, Elliot, you're a very wise guy. You're, you know, more enlightened than 99.9% .9 of the population. And I love everything you do. But this video makes me want to pull my hair out. And I just have to make a video response. And please, I really want to encourage a discussion about this topic. Because a lot of people email me about depression. And, uh, oh, let's just make this video about depression. And what is depression? Well, basically, Elliot, uh, some, guys, some guys sent Elliot an email saying how he's depressed and blah, 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 blah. His life sucks, his girlfriend dumped him. You know, all that, that kind of quote unquote beta bullshit. And Elliot just told him to suck it up. And uh, he, he's making analogy about how a bird who, who can't fly because he's not ready. And he just tells, Elliot just tells this guy to just flop his wing and, and don't be a pussy. Uh, okay, let me, okay, Elliot, you're completely right if this person is just sad or he's just grieving. I, actually, I just watched a video this morning about depression on TED. It's this new talk, if you guys want to check it out. Uh, it's a talk on, on depression, you know, on TED. Uh, so coincidentally, uh, co co coincidentally, I saw that video today, so that gave me some insight as well. Uh, but um, if you tell somebody, like, okay, so depression and sadness is a continuum, right? Everyone gets sad, but do, do everyone get depressed? No, because I can tell from uh, this video that Ellie has never really been depressed. Uh, I've talked to a few friends about depression and they have the same mindset. They don't understand depression. They don't understand why people, when they're quote unquote depressed, can't just snap out of it. Well, uh, perhaps this person who emailed Elliot isn't depressed. Because it's also just, it, it's also so confusing and, and, and so uh, misguided that we use the same word. Like we, I talked about this before with Elliot as well. That you use the same word to describe very two different very phenomena that might be on the same continuum. But it could also be totally different phenomenologically, right? Uh, so the depression, like uh, a kid might say, I'm depressed because uh, I didn't get my birthday gift. And a person might say, I'm depressed and I'm going to kill myself. And that person actually kills himself. The first case is not depression. It's just sadness or you know, grief or annoyance. The second case is true depression. Clinically depressed, that person is, to make him want to kill himself. So if Ali is talking to a, a guy who is just sad, then this video is completely right. Step out of it and stop being a fucking pussy. Hit the weight room. However, if that sadness it goes way deeper, that it becomes a true depression in a true clinical sense, then you can't just tell someone to snap out of it because that doesn't work. See, the confusion here is that how much neuro, how many serotonin do you have to lack to be considered depressed, right? That there's no fine line. I talked about this video before, right? There's no fine line between how much serotonin that you, you produce account as a true depression. So it's hard to determine sometimes. But if you say I'm depressed and I'm gonna and right five minutes later you kill yourself, you probably are really depressed. Let's just talk about that for a second, right? People who are really clinically depressed, what does that mean? Let me give you an analogy. When Ali tells that person to just flop his wings, it's almost like saying to a person who has a broken arm, maybe a broken bone that you can't really see. So it's like you know the structure is fucked up on the inside. So he can't really he can't really lift he, or, or, or his leg, his knees fucked. But you look at him, you look fine. But my knee is fucked. You tell him to sprint, okay? Um, see, your biological structure, your physical structure, is one plane of reality, and that transfer or that transform or transcend itself to another plane of reality, which is uh, the reality of speed, right? So it's kind of like brain and consciousness. A brain produces consciousness, right? The brain causes consciousness, and so those two are related. So if your brain is fucked up, your consciousness is gonna be fucked up. If your knee is fucked up. You, you're not going to be able to sprint, no matter how hard you tell that person to sprint. If he tries, it's going to be more fucked up. The same thing is with depression. Depression, see, Elliot didn't get into the, 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 he didn't dig deep into the structure of what really makes someone depressed. Again, I'm just assuming that this person is really depressed and he's speaking about true depression. If it's not, then this is, you know, and then, you know, this is a, sort of like a, a different criticism here. And it's not even criticism about him, it's just a different topic. If you're depressed, clinically depressed, so depressed that you can't even get out of bed, there's something wrong with your brain. There's something wrong with you uh, biologically, neurochemically, okay? So that is the uh, analogous to your knee getting fucked up that you can't sprint, okay? If you dig down, deep down into depression, you gotta figure out what the genetic factor is that is causing the, the inability to just get up and be a man, okay? Um, because like the video that I just saw on TED, if you tell someone to just, just get through it, just snap out of it, and he, if he tries to, he's gonna go deeper into the depression. That's not an advice that you wanna give someone who's really depressed. It's just like you don't wanna tell someone with broken knee to just sprint faster, right? Because depression is a real physical, chemically, uh, it's a real physical phenomena caused by some alteration, some, some you know, from some faults in the brain, and in the wiring. If you're depressed, truly clinically depressed, you can't even get out of bed. The people who truly 
felt depression would never tell someone who is also truly depressed to just be a man and suck it up. That to me is, it breaks my heart when I hear that. It's just like, it's almost like telling someone that is colorblind. You gotta, you hit them, you force them to see, you say, I see red, I see red. And you go, fuck you, it's, it's green. Snap it up and see green. That person just can't see green until he fixes his brain chemistry. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and, and, and okay, then I'm gonna go on to say, okay, how are you gonna fix your brain chemistry? And one way to do it, now we're lucky enough to have modern medicine, is to take medication. And you say, well, it's not natural. A lot of people say, oh, I don't wanna uh, take meds and lose who I am. It, it's the depressed you who re you really are. It's just like saying, uh, if you have, a, you, have a, you have a scar on your hand, you don't wanna get stitches. You're not gonna, you know, inject morphine to feel less pain. Of course you are, same with depression. If you take a, if you take a medication and then your your serotonin level or your dopamine level is leveled up and you don't feel depressed anymore, your brain just gets more of what it's already producing and and the, the lack of it isn't it, it, you know it's a sickness it's almost like it's almost like you're losing white blood cells and you don't want to get more and you're gonna die you're gonna say oh that's just me if you're depressed get treated you know the medication is not the only way to treat you can raise your serotonin level in very different ways right and some people who are really fucking depressed. They have to take medication. If you're not so depressed, if you're like kind of depressed, you know, you can sort of, you know, alter it like naturally, quote unquote naturally, by, you know, go outside for a walk and, you know, just slowly get out of the read books and shit like that. But there's people who are so depressed, they can't even get out of the bed. The brain wouldn't allow them to fucking move. It's a real fucking hard phenomenon. Anyway, so that's just my take on depression. You know, it's, it's, it's the both, you know, mental, mental phenomenons, psychological phenomenons are just, are, are, are physical, like at the base of it. And, and most people who talk about depression are only hovering at the surface. They're only hovering at that, that level where, the, the phenomenological level, the, the, the level where, you, you, okay, you talk about how you feel and shit like that, but you gotta dig down inside to see what the fuck is 